Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. You know, St. Patty's Day is literally right around the corner. And if you've got any of these little uh, leprechauns running around your home, maybe you want to make them their own little house so that they don't get up to mischief in your home. Now, I'm going to show you how to take simple things like a Chinese food container and paper cups and turn them into the cutest leprechaun dwelling you ever did see. So, let me show you how right now. So, for this project, I'm actually going to be showing you two different styles of houses. The first style is going to be using this Chinese food container. So, this is a Chinese food container, and this is a French fry boat. Now, both of these can be found at your, like, um, kind of restaurant supply stores. We have big chains out here, uh, and we can, we can easily get these. But you can also find these online if you want. Or if you've got a little local restaurant, maybe you can just go in and ask them if they'd let you have one. So that's what we're going to need for our Chinese food house. And we're also going to need a paper plate, which we're going to be using. For our little mushroom house, we're going to be using two sizes of paper plates. This is just a regular standard paper plate, and then a cake size paper plate. I'm going to need some scissors, always. And I'm going to need a little, a little uh, cup to make the bottom part of my uh, mushroom yurt. Then for decoration purposes, I'm going to be using these little stickers. These are just these round stickers that you can get at any office supply store. And I'm going to be using for my chimney one of these straws. And I'm going to be wanting to use one that has the bendy straw. I want to use a bendy straw. And if I decide that I don't want to use stickers for decoration or if I want to use other embellishments, I can always use my Sharpie pens, which love those pens. I am also going to be needing a hot glue gun or some type of glue. You can use glue dots, you can use a thick uh, pasty glue, something that has some, some good strength to it, but I'm going to be using a glue gun today. Remember, always with glue guns, safety first. Okay, I am going to start by showing you how to make the Chinese food container house. This is a cute little house, and we have this online, www.sophie-world.com. We have a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make your own Chinese food container house. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start by cutting away this front flap. Now you can see we've got two side flaps, a front and a back flap. We're going to keep our side flaps. These are going to stay because we're going to use those to secure things down. The front flap and the back flap are going to go. So I'm just going to cut those off with my scissors, like that. What's nice is they have a little line here. You can tuck that inside so it's out of your way. They have a little line that you can just follow right there and remove those pieces. Now, I'm going to make a little door. And to make my door, I'm just going to go up and over in a little arch. And I'm actually going to leave one side uncut because I want to have my door open and shut. But if you want your door to just be open the entire time, what you can do is just cut up and over in any shape that you want. You might want to draw it ahead of time. I'm not going to draw mine just because I've cut mine so very many times. But here we go. I'm going to just take start at the bottom here. And see, I've left myself about an inch and a half over here so that I have some place to go. And I'm just going to make mine a little arched doorway, like that. Now, I could continue down and cut that out. If I do, that means that there will be an opening always. But I'm going to leave this, see this part here? I've left that part here so that I can just open it. And now I have a little door that opens and closes, just like that. Now. I'm going to take my paper plate, flip it over, and I'm actually going to take these little pieces here, these side flaps, and I'm going to tuck them inside. Can you see that? Now I'm going to take my glue, my hot glue gun, and I don't need a lot, just a little drop here, a little drop here, and in each of the corners, and right there in the center, just to make sure it's nice and secure, but I don't have to put glue all over the entire bottom. And then I'm just going to flip it over and place it on my plate wherever I like it, placement-wise. I mean, you might want to put it at the front, you might want to put it at the back. And I'm just going to reach in through my door here and just push those down gently so that they're nice and sealed and glued. Now, this is why I like hot glue, because it's instant. It takes about 30 seconds and it's dry. 
but you might not want to use hot glue or you might not have a hot glue gun. Regular glue will work or you could even use tape if you wanted to. Now, to add my roof, all I'm going to do is add a drop of glue here, 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 and here. That's the only places that I need to put my glue. I'm going to put a drop here, a drop here, a drop here, and a drop here. And I'm just going to take my lid and place it on top. And my door still opens and shuts. Just like that. And that's it. My house is done. Now I can decorate it any way I want to, but for right now, I'm going to push this off to the side so that I can show you how to make the mushroom yurt. Now to make the mushroom yurt, I'm going to need my cup and I'm going to need my two sizes of plates, my scissors, and my straw. So to start, I'm just going to make my little doorway here. And again, in this case, I'm going to actually cut my whole doorway out. So I start on one side and I'm just going to go up and over. Now a cup has a seam, which does not appear on the Chinese food container. And because of that seam, I want to make sure that when I cut my door, I'm not cutting my door out where that seam is because that's going to make my cup unravel. So what I want to do is I want to cut my door somewhere away from that seam. So I did it on the opposite side there. You can see I've got a little bit of squidgy there, so I can come back and trim that if I wanted to. Just a little bit. Here we go. Okay. There's the base of my yurt. That's going to be kind of like the stem of the mushroom. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this paper plate here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slit a slit from here to the center, right to the center, right there. Just a little snip, like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my plate and I'm going to see this edge? I'm going to pull it in like a piece of pie, like an eighth, one eighth, like a piece of pie. Just like imagine that this is a piece of pie right there. Just bring it in like a piece of pie right there. That's all I need to do. And that's going to give me my topper for my mushroom. Now, to make that stay, what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of this hot glue here, and I'm going to glue along that line that I was saying was my pie wedge, right? Right along that edge, because that's where I'm going to go all the way to. And then I'm going to add a little bit more glue in here. Now make sure that you get a goodly amount right in here on the edge because that's going to be the one place where it's going to want to unravel and come apart. Now, be careful when you do this just because you don't want to burn your fingers. Okay, I'm going to bring this edge, got my thumb over here. I've picked this up and bringing it over to that edge. Now be very careful here. Just pinch it from this edge. Just make sure that you don't get your fingers on that hot glue. And flip it over and smooth it down. And there you go. There's the top part of your mushroom. Now, I'm going to take my plate and I'm going to glue down the bottom of my mushroom. And I'm just going to put a bead of hot glue all along the bottom there. Again, remember, you can use any kind of glue that works for you. Okay, there's that. Now, in this case, Last time, you remember, I just put it on the four corners. This time, I'm actually going to go all the way around. So I'm taking my hot glue and putting it all the way around. Now you can see it can sometimes get a little drippy, so just keep your fingers away from that. Now, I've got my fingers on both sides of my mushroom cap, and all I'm going to do is go bloop, put it right on top, and that's it. And there's the basic start of my little house. Now, if you want to, you can tilt it up just a little bit so you can see in there a little bit more. There we go. Now, I want to give it a cute little chimney. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this bendy straw here. I love these bendy straws. I'm just going to snip it like that so I look like I have the letter L here. Now, this is a place where you have to be a little bit careful because you don't want to, don't want to cut your fingers. So put your hand on one side here and just open up your scissors like this. Be very, very careful and just right at the top here, make a little hole, just a little teeny hole right in the top. And then 
then you just take your straw, squeeze it, pinch it, and push it in. There we go. And I'll just slide right in there. And in it goes. Oops, wait a second. You know what I did? I went right in the top of my cup here. So let me get a little bit. There we go. If you go high enough up, you won't be in that cup. So I made that hole a little bit bigger there. So I can get that in. There we go. Boop. Just like that. Okay, now I'm going to decorate the top by putting all of these fun little polka dots on to make it look like a toadstool. Okay, and I'm just going to keep going and decorating all over with these polka dots. Now, if you wanted to, though, what you could do, which could be really cute, is just use your Sharpie pens to color little swirls and stars and patterns. Or if you wanted to, you could even use paint. But I'm just going to be using these cute little polka dots all over. So now one quick little thing that I, I should mention, because when you do this, when you put your, when you put your little uh, chimney in, if you aim a little bit higher, you won't have as many problems as I did just inserting mine there. But as you can see, Everything is workable. If you make a little mistake and you go into the cup, just make sure that you make your hole big enough so that the straw will slip right in. And there you have it. That's how you can turn paper plates and little paper goods into adorable little leprechaun houses. Oh, I can't wait to move in. Or this little <gasps> mushroom yurt. Just what I wanted. Now, just to let you know, on my website, www.sophie-world.com, I have a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can make this cute little Chinese container house and make it fabulous. You all know my sister, Frida. She's in a lot of my videos. Well, she has an incredible artistic eye, and she's able to take little bits and pieces and just make them into works of art. And so I want to give you a little bit of artistic inspiration that comes from my sister, Frida. So here's one of the houses that she's made. Isn't that amazing and inviting? Doesn't it look like it would be quite fun for St. Patrick's Day or any kind of fairy party? And here's another one. I particularly like this one because she's used a water topper for the uh, chimney, which I think is really cute. So see, you can go crazy with this. Just take whatever materials you have at home and just get as artistic as you want. So check that out at www w.sophie-world.com for more step-by-step -step instructions. For more great ideas of turning recycled materials into incredible houses, come and check us out at sophie-world.com.